If you're anxious to give your home a new look in time for holiday guests, or maybe just as a gift to yourself, designer Brian Patrick Flint is just the man to show you how. And he's got some clever, inexpensive ways to spruce up your house, starting with the one room they're most likely to see, the guest bathroom. Here we are in a boring, uninspired guest bathroom, which a ton of people will probably see over the holidays. And an easy way to instantly add drama is to pick one focal wall, usually the one you see when you walk in, and add a dark color. And it's something so easy, you can do it in two hours. Now that we've created the focal wall, I want to accessorize this bathroom. So I've simply put up these chrome hooks, and now we're going to accessorize using our JCPenney towels, which are in the same color scheme as the bathroom. So when you first walk in, obviously you see these are towels, but they also kind of multi-purpose as art. I want to cover up the empty space directly above the towels on the hooks in the bathroom. I want to use art, however that could be really expensive, so something to keep in mind is to hit up student art websites like ugallery.com because you get to buy student art, which is original and beautiful, for a fraction of the cost. The final thing we're doing in this really small guest bathroom is stocking and staging it. I've simply picked up this cute old rickety ladder and lined it with these really old trays, and now we're filling them with these really cool one-of-a-kind things we got from an online apothecary. So when your guests are staying here, they'll have special soaps, shampoos, and moisturizers that they probably wouldn't find unless they were staying at some type of resort. We transformed what was a really uninspired, boring guest bathroom into a really nice welcoming space by simply adding some dramatic paint color, putting out hand towels on hooks, adding some student art, and also making a welcome basket. It only took about an hour to do this, and it's going to make a huge impact. The dining room is probably the most important space during holiday entertaining because it's where everybody gathers. However, this particular dining room had off-white walls and leftover college furniture. So to spruce it up and make it seem totally lived in, we're going to add this gray green, which is neutral, to three of the walls surrounding it so it will be delineated as its own entertaining space. As you can see, this contractor grade pendant is doing nothing to create ambiance in what's supposed to be a dining room, so we're going to change that. But instead of spending tons of money on a new lighting fixture, we're going to use a drum pendant. This is something you could actually just put on a standard table lamp, but we're going to trim it out using this really nice designer decorative trim on the top and the bottom using a glue gun, and then add a pendant kit and hang it. It's going to look like something we spent tons of money on from a designer showroom for almost no cost. This is a really easy way to add more seating to your existing dining table. This is simply a piece of 4x8 plywood that we cut down the middle and added a piano hinge so it could be flipped up and stored away. By simply adding an extra long and extra wide tablecloth on top of it, you'll never know what your actual surface is. This is something that's so easy you could do it yourself or you could have a pre-cut at the hardware store. Just like we did with the table, we're keeping our chairs, but we're simply making them a little different. Now, these chairs were really casual, but since we're entertaining for the holidays here, we are simply adding this slip cover to give them a much more formal look. As far as table settings are concerned, most people immediately go ahead and set a formal table setting. But these days, people like to be more casual when they're entertaining. So keep this in mind. Simply stack all of your tableware in the center of the table and create a really casual tablescape so your guests can come and go as they please. The last element in this dining room is to create a focal point with art. There you have it. We started with a boring, bland dining space, and now we've got a nice neutral palette. We've got a new tabletop. We updated the chairs, we updated the lighting, and we even added some cool art. This place is definitely ready to entertain. For more tips on creating easy home decor changes you'll love, go to our website at tbs.com. We'll be back in a bit, so stick around.